The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful eye, was engineered with a singular, profound purpose to gaze into the deepest, most silent abyss of space and time, to find the faint whispers of creation that were meant to remain hidden. Its golden mirrors were designed to collect the ghosts of ancient light, to assemble the story of our universe from its first words. But there is a question that the engineers and astronomers never fully prepared for. What happens when the abyss, after an eternity of silence, finally stares back? What happens when an object of impossible scale and unnerving behavior appears not in some distant anonymous galaxy, but in our own stellar backyard, only to be systematically erased from sight moments later? This is the story of a planet candidate, a world that shouldn't exist. Caught in the unwavering gaze of the Webb telescope, right next to our closest stellar neighbor, Alpha Centauri. The data was clear, the image breathtaking. But when astronomers eagerly returned to that same patch of sky, ready to confirm a discovery for the ages, there was only emptiness. A cold, unnerving void where a world should have been. What this event reveals about the nature of our universe may not be a discovery in the way we understand it. It may be a warning. Alpha Centauri. The name is etched into our collective consciousness. At just over four light years away, it is not merely a star system. It is our celestial doorstep, the next logical step in humanity's journey to the stars. It's a complex and dynamic family of three stars. The sun-like Alpha Centauri A, its smaller companion Alpha Centauri B, and the faint volatile red dwarf, Proxima Centauri. For decades, we have aimed our most powerful instruments at this system relentlessly searching it for other worlds, for a reflection of our own solar system. We have listened for signals, and we have searched for shadows. And for decades, we were met with profound silence. Then, in August of 2024, that long silence was shattered. The James Webb Space Telescope, using its revolutionary optical systems to perform a feat akin to spotting a firefly next to a searchlight, captured something. It was faint a mere whisper of light, but it was deliberate. The data pointed to strong evidence for a giant planet with an approximate mass similar to Saturn orbiting its star, Alpha Centauri A, at a distance that could astonishingly place it within the star's habitable zone. This was a monumental discovery, one that should have rewritten our textbooks on planetary formation and changed our place in the cosmos forever. But what this incredible observation would soon reveal would become one of the greatest cosmic mysteries of our time. To find this world, Webb utilized its mid-infrared instrument, or Mirai. This wasn't a simple act of looking, it was an act of cosmic surgery. Miri was designed to stare directly into the blinding glare of a star like Alpha Centauri A and nullify its overwhelming light, effectively creating a targeted, artificial eclipse. It's a process of such incredible precision that it can reveal objects hidden in the glare that are thousands of times fainter than their host star. And in the darkness that Webb created, there it was. An object more than 10,000 times fainter than its parent star, orbiting at a distance of roughly one to two times that of the Earth from the Sun. The implications were staggering. If confirmed, this would be the nearest exoplanet ever to be directly imaged around a sun-like star. It would be a milestone that validated decades of searching, a confirmation that our little corner of the galaxy was not as lonely as it seemed. The image, though just a few pixels, was a portrait of a new world, a potential neighbor. But this picture, a source of so much hope and excitement, was not meant to last. Science demands repetition. A discovery is only real if it can be verified. With immense anticipation, astronomers guided the Webb telescope back to the same celestial coordinates in February and again in April of 2025. They expected to see the planet again 
perhaps to learn more about its orbit or its atmosphere. Instead, they were met with absolute, unnerving nothingness. Emptiness. The planet was gone. It had vanished without a trace, leaving behind only the cold, black vacuum of space. This is what researchers are now calling the case of the disappearing planet. The scientific community was baffled. How does a world the size of Saturn, a colossal ball of gas and rock, simply vanish? Was the initial, celebrated observation simply an error, a phantom in the machine's complex circuitry? Or was its disappearance not an accident, not a glitch, but a deliberate act, a form of movement or existence that we cannot yet comprehend? The silence that followed was heavier than before, because now it was filled with an impossible question. The first and most logical explanation is one of elegant, predictable orbital mechanics. Scientists immediately began running complex computer simulations, modeling millions of potential orbits for this phantom planet. Their calculations offered a plausible, almost comforting answer. In nearly half of all stable orbital scenarios, the planet's natural path around Alpha Centauri A would have carried it too close to its star during the follow-up observations. It would have swung behind the star or deep into its blinding glare, rendering it completely invisible to Webb's instruments. A simple cosmic alignment. The planet wasn't gone. It was merely playing a game of celestial hide-and-seek, a ghost in our instruments, only temporarily. Another theory suggested the first image was a fluke, a one-in-a-billion instrumental artifact, or a collision of cosmic rays that perfectly mimicked a planet. But this is where the story gets truly bizarre, and the comfortable explanations begin to fail. Data from the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope captured back in 2019, had already hinted that something was there, in that exact location. It was a faint anomaly that, at the time, was dismissed as inconclusive. But with Webb's detection, it suddenly gained immense credibility. This was not just one ghost. This was a pattern, seen years apart by two of the most powerful observatories on Earth. This recurring phantom raises a question that no one can yet answer. A question that pushes us to the very edge of physics. What if this disappearing act wasn't just orbital mechanics, and it wasn't an instrument error? What if it was a transient astronomical phenomenon, a flicker in the cosmos that we were lucky enough to witness for a brief, tantalizing moment? Because the James Webb Telescope wasn't just observing a planet candidate, it was watching how the space around Alpha Centauri behaves. And in that behavior, there was one chilling conclusion that few were ready to voice. Something about this object didn't just exist in that system. It behaved as if it knew it was being watched. It remembered how to hide. So we are left with a profound and deeply unsettling contradiction. An incredible, verified detection, followed by a complete and unnerving disappearance. We have a world that was, and then wasn't. It is a cosmic puzzle that highlights not just the immense power of the James Webb Telescope, but also the immense, gaping voids in our own understanding of the universe. This isn't just about a single, lost planet anymore. It is a message in motion. A story being told across four light years of space. A story of appearance and disappearance. And now that story is passing through our instruments, whispering of possibilities we've never considered, if we choose to listen. This story is far from over. Further observations are planned for the fall of 2026, a date circled on the calendars of astronomers worldwide. This may be when the planet's predicted position, if it has a predictable orbit at all, becomes favorable once again. We don't know what it is, we don't know why it vanished, but the more we observe, the more we realize this might not be a simple piece of interstellar matter. It might be a test of our perception, of our very definition of life and technology. In a cosmos we assumed was ruled by silence and distance, this brief appearance is a voice. 
It did not broadcast a signal in radio waves. It simply arrived. Before it potentially vanishes forever, we are left to wonder, is this object simply hiding from us? Or are we being shown the absolute edge of what we are allowed to see?